Hello, boys and girls. Our book for today is Bernice Gets Carried Away. It was a horrible, dreary day, and it suited Bernice's mood just fine. Everyone else had gotten a frosting rose on their piece of cake, but not Bernice. All she'd gotten was a plain white square from the middle. Everyone else had gotten ice-cold strawberry melon sodas, but not Bernice. All that was left for her was pruned grapefruit, and it was warm. And of course, one of the big kids had gone and smashed the pinata to smithereens before Bernice had even taken a swing. Everyone else had gotten yummy candy and prizes, but not Bernice. She'd found one lousy gumdrop that someone had stepped on. Yes, Bernice was in a bad mood. So when she saw that they were about to hand out the balloons, she didn't take any chances. Mine, she said and grabbed the whole bunch. But it was one balloon too many, and up, up, up and away floated Bernice. She floated up past a surly gray squirrel, alongside a very blue bluebird and to the bottom of a brooding black rain cloud, where she got stuck. Bernice guessed she wasn't the only one having a bad day. She peered down past her paws at the big world below and noticed how very little everything looked. Suddenly, her problem seemed very small. Bernice glanced up at her enormous bunch of balloons and p felt pretty small herself. So she gave the cloud a balloon to remind him of sunnier days. He got fluffy and stopped weeping rain. She gave the bluebird a balloon to brighten her empty nest. The bird burst into beautiful song. She gave the squirrel a balloon to soften him up. He hugged it and smiled and chattered as Bernice gracefully floated back to the ground. And then, everyone else began sharing too. Yes, it was a sparkly, sunshiny day. And it suited Bernice's mood just fine. All right, our book was Bernice Gets Carried Away. It is book level 3.0, quiz number 180289.